Hello, friends and neighbors. This is your old friend Scooby Sprite uh, from the Best Linux Games podcast. Uh, it's um, Friday, April 1st, 2016. Uh, 2016-04-01. We are playing Hyperlight Drifter, um, a fantastically beautiful game. Uh, and we're doing something a little different this week. Um, for those of you who know the podcast, we come out uh, every Saturday uh with an audio only podcast um, covers only the best games available for the GNU slash Linux operating system, www.bestlinuxgames.com. Um, but what I'm going to start trying to do um, as even though we're running up to, uh, Oh, it doesn't have my saved game. Oh, well that's cool. Um, what I'm going to start trying to do is before recording the podcast for each week, uh, I want to do a little video of like basically the featured the because lately we've been shifting to like more of like a featured title kind of um, paradigm kind of thing. Uh, so hang on, let me set my timer. There we go. Uh, we'll just be cue. Um, and this week is Hyperlight Drifter. Definitely. Um, this is a fantastically gorgeous game. Uh, but more importantly than its prettiness, it is incredibly fun to play. I guess we're only going to get to see the intro cinema here. Not too much gameplay because I only have six minutes on my timer. Um, but I've played it for about 45, um, and I've gotten into some pretty difficult combat, some pretty challenging combat. Um, and the controls are just fantastic, and the game design is fantastic. These guys are starting a, a very innocent weapon. <laughs> Some sort of technology. There is no dialogue in the game, so it's all told through images and uh, stuff like that. It's just awesome. Yeah, this looks like it's going well. Oh, oh God! No! <laughs> well, that could have gone better. Mm hmm. So. Yeah, well, you know, acceptable losses. Um, let's have some whiskey here. That's us, the Hyperlight Drifter. Ooh, yeah. Mm. So, one of my favorite things about this game so far is that, like, if I were a child, um, this game would horrify the living fuck out of me and would probably send me down the road to uh, really liking and appreciating only better games and art in general. How awesome is that where he pulls out his sword? Just that animation is so fucking cool. Yeah, so happy days are here again. Uh, as you can uh, tell. One of my favorite things is that this game reminds me a lot of um, of another pixel art game. Oh, this is such a cool fucking animation here. Wow. I'm not a big, you know, f super fan of anime, but like, you know, I, I have the essential vocabulary and knowledge, you know, like I've seen Akira a billion times, blah, blah, blah. But, um, and Fist of the North Star and shit. But there's a lot of, um, it's like pixel art meets on it, like, like this stuff, like these, these, uh, these disgusting corruption tentacle things. Ah, must reach! Ah! No! And I don't know what the character, what our character's name is. I just call him the prince because he kind of reminds me of Prince of Persia. But uh, the environments that the prince navigates through um, remind me a lot of Fez, um, Phil Fish's amazing uh, pixel art game. So now we can actually control him for the first time. Oh, and he's sick. He's not doing well. Look at this. I mean, this is just gorgeous. And we can dash, and we can attack. Kill those fucking flowers. Then we use our little friend here. I call him the Sprite. Um, he allows us to interact with 
things that we can interact with. Um, I don't know if we need to heal yet, so I'm going to ignore that. Like, right here, see how, like, he has, like, a little battery icon that pops up next to him? That means we can press Y and interact with it. Oh, and it turns out to be an elevator. This is, this makes, um, a lot of the environment design and graphic design, um, which might be confusingly obtuse in some cases, in, 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 in lesser hands than, than, uh, it is in Hyperlight Drifter. It might make it confusing and obtuse, but the use of the sprite makes it very intuitive to navigate a, an entirely two-dimensional pseudo 3D isometric um, environment, which is really awesome. Press Y to, yeah, ping the HUD. See, like that right there, we know intuitively that even though that's a ladder, that we can just use our dash button and we dash up it. And then when we go down it, we don't even have to dash because it, it's stuff like that that's really cool. We got to Now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. And w the way you use your gun is really cool. It gives you 360 degrees of movement Then uh, when you hold with the uh, left trigger and then you fire with the right trigger. Oh shit, I turned it on and then I turned it off there accidentally. These guys are chumps right now. Later on, they, it gets very difficult. Bam! And so you see how, like, the pseudo isometric fake two dimensional 3D world actually. Oh, uh, we're out of time, but I'm gonna f I'm gonna say fuck it and just go another two minutes here. Um, but uh, yeah, once again, this is Hyperlight Drifter, and uh, this has been your old friend Scooby Sprite from the Best Links Games podcast. Um, I really wanted to show you. I, I intentionally stopped the game that I was playing to show you this um, particularly difficult combat sequence that I had gone into, which I thought this is probably the most beautiful thing I've seen in the game so far. And watch when you're when the prince is idle, he like sits down and rests and does stuff. This is like my, I want a fucking poster of this on my wall. So yeah, this has been a uh, Scooby Sprite, S-K-O-O-K-I-E-S-P-R-I-T-E from, oh shit, he just fell for no good reason um, from the Best Links Games podcast. Uh, I, oh wait, I forgot I'm on my other controller. I'm not on my Steam controller, uh, so he might not rest. But anyway, the game is Hyperlight Drifter. Um, Find me on Steam. Friend me on Steam. Uh, we can play Payday 2 or Counter-Strike Go together. Um, and uh, check out the podcast at www.bestlinksgames.com. There it is. This is Hyperlight Drifter. I heartily recommend you go get it. Um, I think it's like 18 bucks, and it's it's something else. All right. Oh, and if, if you want, you can find me on Twitter at VegasWriter, V-E-G-A-S-W-R-I-T-E-R. -E -E Cheers. Thanks for watching. Oh, man, I can't wait to get back to where I was. Like, look at these stairs, man. Look at the stairs. It's so fucking cool. All right. Okay. I, I, oh, perfect. This is a perfect time to stop it. Prince getting sick with the corruption. Oh, God.